It goes without saying we've had some challenges this evening. Some of them technical. A couple of them technical, most of them emotional for me. I had this amazing story I was going to tell. I was clever. It had pop culture references. It had bad puns about going to the bathroom in it. I mean, it had everything that this audience has come to love. And I, I threw it out because I had a human moment, a really human moment. <laughs> Even the staff here hates, no, they love me and they give me a lot of support. I've always said I come up here and I try to be very honest and very real with you. And so when I had a, a moment last week that was so real, I threw out my original idea and I wanted to tell you guys a quick story that is a little hard and maybe a little less polished, but I think this evening is sort of born for it. So I do a lot of stupid human tricks. New people, I was talking to, to Melissa, who got up here so bravely earlier. Hi. Uh, I, got, I do all sorts of stupid human tricks. I've, I've learned to walk on stilts, and the first time I did, I hooked my foot on a picnic table, and I hit the ground so hard that people 15 feet away felt the bounce on the concrete. <laughs> and when I did, a voice came unbidden. I said, not like this. And I think the people who were nearby meant, please don't let me die like this is what they thought I meant. <laughs> but what I actually meant was, no, I'm not going to let fear take the better of me. I got back up almost immediately. And with the help of a couple of my friends and two very long poles, I stood there and I screamed into the night air. I'm not going to tell you what I screamed, but it was a quote from Dr. Strangelove. <laughs> and my neighbors did call the police. <laughs> So that happened. Um, in about a month, it's my birthday. A year ago, I decided to learn a, a stupid human trick. I learned to ride the unicycle. A lot of people heard stories about me falling off of that. I went splat in a gymnasium so hard I bounced. I made other people stop working out to enjoy the fun. And when I did, a very good friend of mine looked at me. And she said, are you OK? And I said, I'm OK, which is probably something I should preface this whole story with. I am OK. In circus, I'm OK means I'm hurt, but I'm not injured, and I'm coming back. Keep that in mind. So are you OK, she says. I say, yes. She says, good, get the hell up. So I did. I got back on my feet, went back to learning. And because of that, a year later, I can ride the unicycle. I'm convinced that surrounding myself with people who get the fear and get that if, even if it's not their mission, they need to support you on your mission is essential to growing as an artist of any kind. So. Last week, I had my big moment. I've been working out and doing all sorts of cool stuff, and I got real inspired, and I got up on a walking globe. And we've seen Kasha Reese get up here on one. Uh, I know Legs has been working on one. A couple of other people I'm working on. I got up on it like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> and I was doing pretty well until all of those core muscles gave out. And all at once, I was in the air sideways. And I thought to myself, not like this. Please. Please, oh heaven, not like this. <laughs> but I realized I was in the air, and what I was thinking about was the ball that was underneath me. And I reached back and I said, no, not like this. And I hooked my foot on the ball, and I kicked it across the room. It hit the wall, and then I hit the floor, and that's why I don't have a broken back right now. I bounced hard enough to make everybody stop. And they asked if I was OK. I said, not yet. And I did this. This is the international symbol of please spot me. I'm about to do something stupid on a walking globe. And I took someone's hands and I climbed back up on the thing. And I stood there and I screamed obscenities. And I mean, I'm freaking out just thinking about it. But I stayed there until the fear went away. I got back down after the fear subsided. I took a lot of Advil and I slept it off. <laughs> the next day, I made significant progress on a new skill. And I believe to the core of my being, it was because I said, no, not like that, like this, and got back up there. If you're sitting in the back of this room, or I was teasing you earlier, or I was playing with you, and you're thinking, I'm just going to hide in a little ball, do me a favor. Try saying it. Try saying, no, not like this. And find a time to come up here on a stage, on this stage even, and try it like this. This is the most warm and supportive room, and they will always have your hands when you reach out for them. We call it the open stage. Welcome all. Yeah.